While the mic's coming to you, I'll ask another question here in the, here in the center. Uh, Molly, you got a lot of questions here about basically not only what is it about Texas, but what is it about H. Ross Perot? Oh, about H. Ross. Uh, um, I uh, was describing H. Ross Perot earlier to some hapless citizen of this city. Um, <laughs> and I said, well, you know, he's a ringtail tutor. Uh, a man with a mind a half an inch wide, both fixing to fix the public schools. God save the children. And the next day, the phone rang, and this person said, What's that? It's Ross Pro. <laughs> he sounds exactly like a chihuahua. <laughs> you send me a call, I have mine half an inch wide. All right, goddamn, here comes a zillion dollar libel suit. I said, well, Mr. Perot, I guess I did kind of say that. He said, well, my friends say you're wrong. They say it's only a quarter of an inch. <laughs> <laughs> and he got in the habit of calling me uh, every time I wrote about him. I do things like, I did a column where I announced to an astonished world that the man is a communist, even worse, an agent of the Kremlin. There could be no other explanation for this man having attacked the foundation of the entire Texian way of life. He had come out in front of God and everybody against football. <laughs> so he was clearly a red, and I said so. And uh, <laughs> he called the next day and said, well, I've been accused of being a lot of things. For the first time I've ever been called a communist. I think I'll have Jerry Falwell pray for me. Ah! <laughs> and then one day I made a real serious mistake about Ross Perot in my column. Um, I was writing about that stupid tax reform idea that they had during the Reagan years where they abolished the progressive income tax and put in the two-tier flat tax rate. And I was talking in my column about why it was a bad idea and I closed by saying, so you see, if you make more than $17,500 a year, you will now be in exactly the same tax bracket as H. Ross Perot. And then, because my high school English teacher taught me to write balanced sentences, I added, comma, <laughs> who makes more than a million dollars a year? See, I want to show the disparity between your 17,500 and <laughs> makes more than a million dollars a year. But I made the fatal journalistic error. I did not check. I knew he was by reputation big rich and I thought it was a safe claim, but I did not check. The next day, the guys, uh, this appeared in print, and the guys at our business desk in Dallas called, they're just laughing their asses off. They said, Evans, H. Ross Perot makes a million dollars a day. <laughs> so I'm sitting there thinking, boy, this is gonna be an embarrassing correction when the phone rang and an operator said, Hey, Charles Perot calling collect from Molly Ivins when you accept <laughs> You have not lived unless you have heard Ross Perot poor mouth. He really is funny. Uh, I like the guy, uh, and I, I'm sorry about that, uh, because I'm sure he's... <laughs> Sure, he is politically incorrect to an extent that would make people's teeth hurt around here. Uh, but in fact, I do like Ross Pro. He's a damn hard guy to dislike. Uh, there's, there's, um, there's a lot to like there. The, uh, the downside is that uh, basically guys who have made a lot of money in business tend to have a very hard time working in a system of checks and balances. Uh, the other downside is that the man is slightly paranoid, which is a bit like being slightly pregnant. Um, he really believes that um, evil gooks in Asia continue to hold prisoners of war in bamboo cages somewhere in the jungle. Um, and he tends to have sort of odd world views like that around the edges. There's a lot about the guy to like. I'm, sh I'm sure he's going to get in the race. He's dying to run. I think he'll announce on his birthday, which I think is June 27th. Um, and I, I'm glad he's going to be in the race. I think it'll make it more fun and more interesting. And with any luck at all, it might even work to 
make the discussion of the issues work better. That's my hope. Um, on, I, ha I have actually had days when I can convince myself that Ross Perot might wind up being elected president. Um, I based this in large part on the performance of a, um, of a guy rather like Perot named Clayton Williams, who ran for governor against Ann Richards. Um, Creighton was big time rich and uh, bought superb ads, the most beautiful political ads I have ever seen on television. And had that election been held even a month earlier than it was, he would be governor of Texas today. Um, it may be that, that there is not enough time for people to become disenchanted with Perot a process, I think, would, that would occur inevitably uh, if he were looked at in depth and, and under a lot of different circumstances. We'll, we'll see. It was about that time that Molly wrote a column about the governor's race in Texas in which she said the lesson summed up, the most profound uh, political analysis and commentary she could make. The lesson was that a, that a politician can trip over his dick a few times, but he should not stand there and stomp on it over and over again, as, as, as Clady Williams did. That's what, that's what we pay her for. Don't get that kind of thing from Scotty Reston, do you? <laughs>